Hey, this is Chris Allingham with the Virtual Weber Bullet. Today I'm going to share with you some tips on how to foil the water pan for your Weber Smoky Mountain cooker. In my experience, the most difficult part of cleaning the pan is cleaning the bottom. This is where all the grease and smoke accumulates during the cooking session. It gets baked on by the hot coals. It's very difficult to remove. So I'm going to foil the bottom of the pan every time I use the pan in my cooker, regardless of whether I use water or not in the pan. I'll definitely foil the bottom. Let me show you how I do that. I like to use wide heavy duty aluminum foil when I cover my water pan. I think the heavy duty material holds up better. It's also more convenient to not have to seam two narrow pieces together in order to cover the outside of the pan. I've torn off a piece of foil that's just long enough to cover the water pan. I start with the, with the width of the foil and bring it up over the edge of the pan and just wrap it over the top to secure it in place. Then I start on the side, I put my hand underneath the foil and I just pull it up neatly across the top of the pan. And now what I want to do is I want to remove this excess foil that's protruding into the pan. The reason I do that is because if the foil extends down below the water level of the pan, water can get up underneath the foil when it's heated and then get between the foil and the outside of the pan. And if you have any kind of small hole or tear in the bottom of that foil, you can actually have water traveling up out of the pan, between the pan and the foil, dripping out and into your fire down below, which is kind of funky. So what I want to do is just remove all this excess foil and then secure what's left to the top edge of the pan. So here's how I do that. Well, that's clean foil that can be recycled and now I have just these jagged edges around here I'm just going to clean these up by hand fasten them down I'm going to keep this these little bits of foil right above this lip of the water pan my water level is always going to be below this lip so as long as I keep the foil on or above that lip I'm not going to have any foil ever sticking down into the water Okay, so that is a perfectly foiled pan. Now what about the inside of the pan? I know a lot of you like to put foil on the inside of the pan to make cleanup easier. I've had some bad experiences doing that and so I don't do it anymore. I know some of you have had the same experience because you emailed me about it. If you get little pinholes or tears in the foil on the inside of the pan, water can get through that hole and then as the water heats up, it gets pushed up underneath the foil and out over the top of the pan and down into your fire, which is kind of funky, like I said before. So if I'm using water in the pan, I don't put any foil on the inside. I just foil the outside, like I showed you. I leave the inside just like this. I keep the foil above the edge of the water line. And the water is enough to keep all the gunk in here fairly moisturized so that when I go to clean the pan a day or two later, I don't have any difficulty getting the stuff out of the pan at all. And then I can just tear the foil off the bottom and I got a nice clean pan again. If I'm going to cook with a dry pan, however, let's say I'm doing turkey or I'm doing chicken, I want high temperature in the cooker, I've got no water in the pan, that grease and fat you know, baked into the bottom of this pan is going to be really hard to remove. So with a dry water pan, I am going to put foil inside the pan. Let me show you how I do that. So just like before, I'm going to take a piece of foil that I've torn off that's just the right size to fit this pan. I'm going to place it on top. I'm going to sort of push down in the center with my fingers and try to get this seated in the bottom of the pan. I'm going to make sure that I have enough foil to come up over each edge. And I'm just going to go around with the back of my hand and just sort of push this in to match the shape of the bowl. And then I'm going to hold and push the foil down over the edges. And now I'm going to remove the excess, just like I did before, just sort of tearing down the edges using the, the edge of the pan almost like a, 
a scissor, sort of, in essence, to pull this right off. And now I'll just secure those edges around the pan. Now one more tip I want to share with you is how to foil the inside of the pan for when you're cooking a turkey. Oftentimes you want to keep those drippings so you can make gravy, but if you put the foil directly on the bottom of the pan, it may burn. So I have a trick to prevent that. Let me show you. Simply place your aluminum foil inside the pan, but don't let it touch the bottom. Keep it about an inch to an inch and a half off the bottom of the pan. Secure the edges just like we did before. And now you have a cushion of air between the bottom of the foil and the bottom of the pan that will keep the drippings from burning.